So I want to talk to you about Instagram and how one of my photos went viral and why I actually think it went viral. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name's Ben. I'm a photographer that lives in Australia on the East Coast near Sydney. But if you know me and you know my work, you know that I love to shoot in the mornings. It's when the sun rises over the East Coast. There's these beautiful cloud formations that can happen. Colors, ocean, land, all these things come together, in my opinion, to make some beautiful photography. And some of my most successful photos that I've ever had on Instagram have been with these beautiful colors and these beautiful moments in the morning but not this one that went viral. I want to take you back to February 2018. A friend of mine, Jesse, and I decided we were going to go shoot the sunrise in the morning, although the clouds were not existent and Jesse was running late. So we missed sunrise, but that wasn't a huge issue. The surf was up anyway, and there were still a few shots that I really wanted to take. And specifically, I was looking for a shot from my drone. So the plan was, because the surf was kind of pumping, I wanted a shot where the wave would hit the side of icebergs and crash over into the pool, and hopefully I could snap it mid-action of this wave smashing into the side, you know, people still swimming in the pool, and hopefully we get something creative out of that. But the composition wasn't something that I had in my mind. I just knew that the surf was up, and so that was the type of shot that I wanted. So finding a composition that I thought worked was the tricky part. So I ended up snapping a whole bunch of series of different shots, and in the end, I wasn't really too happy with any of them. And so I didn't expect too much of any of those photos that I took. In fact, when it comes to Instagram, I actually posted five different other shots from that morning prior to posting that one. See, I just didn't feel the love for it, even though a lot of other people felt an immediate connection to it. I didn't feel that love for it. And when I did actually post it, the love was huge. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more of how well it did numbers-wise in a moment, but before I do that, I just wanna understand what really makes a viral photo, you know, just to get a little bit of an insight into how photos actually go viral on Instagram. Hey, hey. How are you, mate? Good, mate. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Your hair looks good. So this is my friend Jumps. Now, the reason why I wanted to call him is not to chat about his hair, even though it is very beautiful, but because he too experienced something similar with a shot that went viral. Like, what happened with, with you with that shot? We had this, uh, this idea to go and travel and shoot WA, and, and that photo was like the last photo of a sequence of photos from our, our first trip together as salty wings and um and yeah it just it just happened i don't know just, <laughs> all the other photos they're okay and then that one photo was just it just stuck out um and i remember sharing it and it just like i shared it and it just got so much heat and so many reshares and um yeah it kind of put us on the map a little bit why did this one do you think in like in your opinion did you do you think it went like pretty much viral. Within the frame, it's captured a few elements that just really work well together. Like it's got symmetry. It's got um, it's it's split in half, half sand, half water. Um, it's got a sense of scale. You know that little umbrella at the top. Really yeah. The viewer a sense of um, you know the size of the landscape that that person is is in, and everywhere around that that umbrella is just. It's a beautiful, um, dreamy uh, seascape. So I think it's it helps with the sense of wonder. The water is still, and there's a really interesting texture in the in you know in, in the water. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I I, <laughs> I have to look at it to refresh my memory. So that was his shot. But let's look at my shot and try and understand exactly why I think it actually went viral from a, I suppose from a photography point of view. I think when people see a photo like this, they're reminded of a couple of things of how it makes them feel. I mean, you've got these beautiful blue water, the ocean, you know, and the ocean has this relaxation effect to it. But we've got this huge wave here and it's crashing on the side of the pool 
and you've also got people swimming in the pool so then it creates this action effect where you know these people are in this pool while these huge waves are crashing over the top of them but i really think one of the best parts going for this type of image is the depth that's created with it and one of the best ways to create depth is with leading lines like these. You can see even these ones at the top here contribute. So without depth and these leading lines, you're left with an image that's very two dimensional. But I think the real clincher with a photo like this is the part where you can really see yourself in the image, you know, like you would love to be at this place. But at the end of the day, I can't really definitively say why people love it over any other image. I'm just glad they did. But as I said before, let's chat the numbers and see exactly how well it actually did. So I want to start by saying that all numbers are relative and you might get more or less numbers on your account. So I'm mainly focusing on the increase on the average. I'm also only going to focus on two accounts for the purpose of telling this story too, mine and the Australian Tourism's account. Even though there's literally been hundreds of others that have shared this photo, it's these two that hopefully will help tell the story. Okay, so prior to posting this photo, my average likes per photo was probably around the five to six seven hundred area and so when I posted this one it went to 2,000 first time I'd ever seen a photo go over 2,000 it was then about a week later that the Australian tourism account shared it and their average likes prior to posting was somewhere around probably the 30 to 50,000 likes and then it got 134,000 it was the Australian account that was the first really big account to share this photo and from this day alone, I got over a thousand followers from this photo. They decided to repost it again in December of that year, and again, it did really well. And because they had reposted it, I thought, why not? I'll have a go at it as well. I reposted it only the next day in December, and it blew up. So from going from an average of five to 700 earlier in the year in March, to now getting a photo that had received over 10,000 was just surreal. I'd say probably all up, it's contributed to probably over five to 10,000 followers just from this one photo alone. But then something interesting happened. People started to actually recognize some of my other work that had never been seen before by the same amount of people, and they started sharing those too. And this chain reaction just started, and then all of a sudden my photos and videos were starting to get picked up from all sorts of different places. Now, as an artist and a photographer, I also sell a whole bunch of prints on my website, and this shop quickly became one of my most purchased prints. Even a few cafes in Bondi actually asked me if I wanted to have it framed and on display in their cafes to sell. We launched a print store, I think, a few months after that photo was, was published, so... It quickly became our top seller on the print store. And then business-wise, uh, it just put us on the map across all boards. Um, people saw that photo and wanted to work with us. We had commercial work coming through. Uh, yeah. We had brands wanting to collaborate. Um, and I do, I do think that it was from just that one photo. Now, the specific photo that went viral also led me to getting work with Adidas. They had seen this shot and they wanted this to be recreated along with some of my other videos that I'd done around ocean pools with the collaboration that Adidas was doing with Pali. And so I ended up going out onto this full commercial shoot with all of these proper pros. And then now I'm there shooting with all of these guys with some heavy equipment. So when I started thinking about making this video, I also started thinking about how far this photo had gone in terms of its reach. And so I did a little bit of research and digging, did a few reverse image searches, and this is what I found. Now my search came back with literally thousands of different hits, but most of the sites were just these weird article pages where they basically just use the photo just to support the article. There was also this really weird one where someone had used it as their book cover on a virtual book, and it seems to be reasonably popular. It has 111,000 reads. It also popped up a couple of times where I had actually licensed the image for its use, like this Adore magazine who was doing a feature on Bondi Beach. And then it even actually picked up a few of those Adidas Parlay shots that I did for them as well. Now, one of the ways I was able to search these was through Google. All you have to do is just basically upload a photo and just let Google search it for you. And the other one, which was I thought way more powerful was through social catfish, which is usually used for people who want to spy on other people, but it worked really well for searching for my photo, I found. So here we are now, 
just over two years later, the photo is still getting shared. It's been, just in the last six months, it's been shared over a hundred times across Instagram and a whole bunch of different, you know, platforms and networks. I'd say it rarely gets credited too, but you know, it's the nature of the beast. I also wanna go back two years time from now and talk about being a small creator. I still consider myself to be a very small creator. There's a lot of creators out there that have a way bigger reach and network and audience than I do. But I wanna talk about being a small creator and sometimes when you are producing some of your work and it's not getting noticed. And what I can say is like, a lot of people may have found me as quickly as they did with that photo and found and thought that I had been this you know, overnight success with it. But the truth couldn't be much further from that. The key, I think, to finding real success on, on social platforms like Instagram is to continually produce really good work. You know what, and some of it is unfortunately gonna go unnoticed for a long time. Put all this energy into your photography and then you might take one photo, one frame, and it's just, it just kind of represents that energy and you kind of get that energy back somehow. Yeah. You know, over time and over the years, as you continually produce really good work, someone somewhere will pick it up at the very right time. And then all of your work prior to that will actually have some significance. So do not discount this time now that you're spending creating. If you feel like you're a small creator who's going unnoticed, please, my encouragement to you, especially in this time now when we've got a little bit of free time to create, just make sure you're still continually pushing the boundaries of your best work. You know, and I don't want to preach to you, but that, that, that's been my experience and it hasn't just been my experience in this one photo. This has happened a few times. This just happens to be my biggest, far-reaching photo that I've, I've had. If that encourages you, please give this video a like and if you want to see some more, hit that subscribe button. But until next time, see you next time. I always walk off, but I'm not walking off to anywhere, so...